to your bosses. Ik zal er niet vals voor houden, eventjes kijken. Dat vond ik ook leuk. Dat, uh... Thank you.
het begin 600 kilometer met een volle tank. Mm -hmm. In het begin reed ik wel iets heviger. Agressiever dan daarna. Toen kon ik kan me niks voor de auto hebben. Ja, ja precies. Dan je je zit er al je in te drinken. Nee, nee, ja. Ja. En ik, ik werk in Maastricht in de BMW garage. Ja. Dus daar heb ik de mijn van ingeruild. Mijn Audi ingeruild voor die, die 330. Ja. En ja, als ik nu iets nodig heb aan de auto, zie je mijn auto heeft onderhoud aan. Ja. Maar ik dat werk ben. Hier is de onderhoud, ja, precies. wachten op alles, ja. laten ze op zich voor de dat scheelt. Ja, dat is ideaal. Onderhoud, ja. Nee, dat klopt. Dat is nu iets voor die model, dat is ja. onderhoud. Dat ja. zie je bij je Tesla's ook nog. Ik weet ook wel de prijs te vinden. Ja. Ze doen een uh, veredelde stofzuigbeurt voor onderhoud. Ja. Dan moet je dan een noodje uitpakken. Mooi van lekker druppelen. Ja. We hebben een nieuwe car en vandaag um, uh, drive ik dus een Sport Hybrid 1.4 Turbo. En ik zal je vertellen over uh, tuning, de ECU van uh, de Abarth 595C. Dus dit is iets dat niet zo veel benefits heeft. Want als je het Turismo hebt, heb je al 160 horsepower en je zal iets zoals. 10 or 13 horsepower, something like that. That being said, in reality this is not the case in my opinion. You will gain a lot even with the uh, 160 horsepower Abarth engine. And why is that? Because of uh, tuning the engine you will gain a lot more horsepower in a lower rev range, so up to 40. There and also you get the benefit of uh, the increased torque. So 230-ish horse uh, newton meter wheel would go into 300 plus newton meter, which is a big gain in my opinion. And the other thing is that you normally can only access the power uh, during the sport, pressing the sport. Otherwise you has, have less uh, horsepower. And then you can tune it that you have the power in both. Uh, modes, so you have the same horsepower in both modes, which can be beneficial, especially if you want to still have the functionality of the normal uh, display, for example, fuel consumption and the other uh, stuff like range, etc. But you do want additional horsepower and torque, then this could be a good thing for you. And still, you have the earlier upshifts from the normal um, normal mode. So in, in the MTA, the motorized uh, automatic transmission, so it's a normal uh, automatic, normal manual transmission that's robotized. In a normal mode it shifts up earlier than in the uh, sport mode, so you have that benefit as well. The other thing is, if you look in reality, uh, 160 horsepower is normally not achieved. It's close to 152. So if you then gain to, for example, 173 horsepower, you still have 21 horsepower gained and about 70, 70 plus newton meters of torque, which is very, uh, very uh, big increase in my opinion, the torque especially. And then if you also look at um, the stats without the sport mode activated in the regular mode normally where you are driving most of the time normally you would have like 140 135 horsepower and then the gain towards 173 the horsepower is also quite big you gain then 40 horsepower in normal mode and then the sport mode yes is less drastic drastic in improvement but it's also there so that's my opinion. Um, also, I think this can complete your car. I'm not saying that without it, if you have 160 horsepower, 152 in reality, you are not uh, poor equipped, of course. But with it, you gain especially a lot of torque. And my purpose for the Abarth is to be uh, extremely drivable and. Uh, and have a comfort then some additional torque makes it feel like a stronger engine because it is a stronger engine then so even if you're not pushing the rev range you still have the access to the additional torque and as i mentioned low down you will gain more horsepower in this uh, setup and why is that 
because the Abar Turismo has an EIE, so um, a small turbocharger, so it spools up quite rapidly and you get the benefits also to lower rev range. Found my car, out.